Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Bill. This video is going to be a continuation of the Prestige Class video. We are in the Dungeon Master's Guide from 3rd Edition. Uh, I believe they reprinted this class in the 3.5 uh, Dungeon Master's Guide as well. We are looking at the Arcane Archer Prestige Class. The Arcane Archer Requirements to become an arcane archer is you need to be an elf or a half elf. So it is very racial specific on this prestige class. You need to have a base attack bonus of plus six. So you need to have, if you're a fighter, you need to be at least six level fighter. Uh, feats, you need to have weapon focus on any bow other than a crossbow. You need to have point blank shot and precise shot, all of which is easy to get as a fighter. If you're any other class, it would take you a few levels to get those feats, but the base attack bonus could be what's holding you back. That said, there's one other requirement. You have to be able to cast first level arcane spells. So if you're not getting them as a class feature, you need to d dive into wizard and get one level wizard or one level of sorcerer to qualify for this class. As you gain levels in this class, your hit dice is a D8. So you get a D8 hit points per level of arcane archer. The attack bonus for the Arcane Archer class is the same as a fighter. So for every level of this prestige class, you get a plus one to your base attack bonus. Your best saves are your Fortitude and Reflex save. They start at plus two, and by 10th level, they're plus sevens. Your special abilities for this class. You get Enchant Arrow plus one at first level, at second level Imbue Arrow, at third arrow, uh, at third level, Enchant Arrow plus two. At fourth level, Seeker Arrow. At fifth level, Enchant Arrow plus three. At sixth level, Phase Arrow. At seventh level, Enchant Arrow plus four. At eighth level, Hail of Arrows. At ninth level, Enchant Arrow plus five. And at tenth level, Arrow of Death. So, So let's start with Enchant Arrow and dive into what all these things do. Every non-magical arrow an Arcane Archer knocks and lets fly becomes enchanted, gaining a plus one enchantment bonus. So the enchantment goes up to plus five at ninth level. So you'll be able to take a Mundane Arrow, put it in your bow, fire it, and it's a plus five arrow. Uh, imbue Arrow. At second level, an Arcane Archer gains the spell-like ability allowing her to place an arrow, an area spell upon her, an arrow. When the arrow is fired, the spell area is centered upon where the arrow lands, even if the spell could normally be centered only on the caster. So that could be useful to apply your area spells across a combat or a battlefield. Then there is the seeker arrow. You can use this arrow once per day at a target known to her within range. The arrow travels to the target even around corners. Only an unavoidable obstacle or the end of the arrow's range prevents the arrow flight. For example, if the target's within a windowless chamber with the door closed, the arrow cannot enter. This ability negates cover and concealment modifiers, but otherwise the attack is rolled normally. This is a spell-like ability. Now that one, I would increase the amount of uses you get for Pathfinder. So you're fourth level when you pick that up in this prestige class. If you were fighter wizard, you were sixth, seventh level. You were seventh level before you started, so you're eleventh level now. I'd say every every two levels after fourth level, so every even level after fourth level you'd get another use of the Seeker Arrow because it's not going to hurt anything. Or you can use a Seeker Arrow equal to your Intelligence Bonus plus your level per day. A Seeker Arrow by itself is not going to change the game too much. Phase Arrow. At 6th level, an Arcane Archer can launch an arrow once per day at a target known to her within range. The arrow travels to the target in a straight path, passing through any non-magical barrier or wall in its way. A magical wall will stop the arrow in its tracks. 
This ability negates cover, concealment, and even armor modifiers, but otherwise the attack is rolled normally. This is a spell-like ability. That one I'd probably give you more uses per day too, but it'd be less. So you get it at sixth level of this class, I'd probably say you would get it every even level after that. So you'd only end up with three uses per day, which wouldn't be bad, or you'd get your your level plus your ability modifier per day. So that also wouldn't be too bad. Because although it's cool and although it'd be very useful, it's not endlessly useful. So I don't see why it's so limited. But this is third edition, so they they waited a good bill did ah, they waited a good bit before they started making classes more powerful. They started becoming more powerful in 3.5. Okay, next is Hail of Arrows, which you get uh, at 8th level. In lieu of the regular attack, once per day, you can fire an arrow at each and every target within range to a maximum of one target for every Arcane Archer level you have. Each attack uses the Arcane's primary attack bonus, and each enemy may only be targeted by a single arrow. This is a spell-like ability. I'd give you your ability modifier um, for spell casting plus the this as one times per day you could do hell of arrows because you're still limited on number of targets equal to your arcane archer level. So the most you'll ever get is 10 targets for one hell of arrow. At 10th level, you get arrow of death. Uh, an arcane archer can enchant an arrow of death that forces the target, if damaged by the arrow, to make a fortitude save DC 20 or be slain immediately. It takes one day to create an arrow of death, and the arrow only functions for the arcane archer who created it. The enchantment lasts no longer than one year, and the archer can only have one such arrow in existence at a time. Those limitations I'd leave, but I'd change the fortitude save DC probably increase it somehow or give them options to increase it somehow because if you're 10th level in this and you had to be 7th level to enter it you're 17th level most of your potent things you're fighting can shake off a dc 20 uh save easy enough i'd want it to be more potent than that if it's to be useful so i'd probably have to find a way and I'd talk with the Arcane Archer character about this as well. Try to find a way to increase that DC that would make sense. But there's you an Arcane Archer. Uh, if you've seen an Arcane Archer played, you've played an Arcane Archer, you've dealt with an Arcane Archer, put it in the comments below. Until we meet again.